a couple things. This is a pretty good one position here. Back shoulder, right? Mm -hmm. Higher than the front shoulder. You're, the one thing though that I'd like to see though is you see all that movement right there? All you're really kind of doing is this. You're not really turning. You know what I mean? So it's, it's more, you're just kind of sinking down here. And the way I can see that is because your knee and your hip and your laces haven't done anything. My knee should be like up there. Yeah, you should be, you eventually get there, right there. This is where you should have been right away though. Okay. And I mean, you're getting to a good contact position there. But see, this is what I, from about right here, this is the number one thing you need to work on. Okay? Is my head moves. Uh, yeah. Upward head movement is almost as bad, if not as bad as forward head movement. The reason that happens is because you get really quad dominant. You're locking out at impact good here and you're getting all the way off your backside. One thing that will alleviate upward head movement, okay, uh -huh. is, that, is to try to stay a little wider in your base yeah. and you drift forward this first, this drifting right here, you know, is causing you then to get tall. Whereas if you were just turning off, you know, turning off your backside, your back speed is going to be better and you're not going to get so tall. I mean, your extension isn't the greatest either. I mean, look up. Look where your hand's rolling over. Your hand should be rolling over way up here somewhere. Not right there. You know what I mean? Yeah. On all pitches, you just got to stay through the ball longer. See, you're really coming up right here on this one. Big time. I mean, we can mark the top of your head. You know. Look how much you're getting above that thing. See, and there hasn't been, there's not really any turning going on there. All you're doing is collapsing with your hands. You know, because we've been, you've, we've corrupted you. Coaches have corrupted you and we've just gotten, you know, that's really all you're doing. You're not really turning around. Get that front shoulder and that back hip and that back heel to go. Yeah, go. See, and then you get jammed right there. I can tell you're pulling your hands out in front of you and not turning because your chest right now is not square to the ball. You know what I mean? Yeah. You should be hitting the ball right there. That's where you should be hitting that high inside pitch. So look how deep you're hitting it. And so that's causing you to get a bunch of space in between your arm and your chest there. You know, that, four, that lead arm's got to stay into your chest longer. 